Hello, welcome back. Today I am here with my few collection of succulents. What are the succulents? These are the plants with thick and fleshy engorge, usually to retain water in arid climates or soil conditions. The word succulent comes from the Latin word succus, that means juice or sap. Today I am showing few of my succulents that add charm to my place. So my first plant is Havortia fasciata, also known as zebra tail plant. It is a delightful little succulent that makes a very attractive small house plant. It is small, low-growing plants form rosettes of fleshy green leaves covered with white warts or band, giving them a distinctive appearance. Generally, it is very easy to grow like other succulents. These plants also appreciate bright light, adequate moisture in summer and right condition in winter. My second plant in the list is Havortia limifolia. This plant looks awesome with its green striped horn shaped leaves. The leaves are spread at the bottom and pointed at the end. This plant is also known as zebra plant. It grows best in bright light and warm dry climates. It can tolerate partial shade outdoors. Indoors, place the plant on a window sill that allows the plant to get lots of sunlight throughout the day. Without constant direct sunlight, no full sun is required. My third succulent plant is a bush that is Senecio barbertonicus. It is an evergreen, much branched succulent bush. The most attractive feature of this plant are its finger-like leaves pointing upwards along with the branches. This succulent is also known as Colts foot or lemon bean bush. Now my fourth succulent is Havortia cuperi. It is an evergreen succulent plant with particularly bulbous fleshy leaves and thin skin lined with light veins. Due to its bulky appearance, it is also known as Havortia jelly. It is usually a blue-green color but it will turn reddish in too much sun or extended drought. The short stem produces many leaves that are just long enough to reach the soil surface. The transparent tips allow the light into it. The propagation is quite easy using its pop. It's a popular house plant due to its resistance to drought and general hardiness. Now, the fifth succulent in my list is Echeveria elegans. It is also an evergreen perennial plant that grow up to 5 to 10 cm long with tight rosettes of pale green blue fleshy leaves. The tight rounded rosettes of rounded foliage makes a graceful and attractive ascent or ground cover. These are durable succulent perennials that lend themselves to the mixed containers, rock garden suck and keep producing oxygen throughout the night and purifies the air. Now some do and don'ts for the succulents. Overwatering can kill your succulents. Lack of sunlight can also kill the succulents. Morning sun for 2-3 to three hours will give it a beautiful natural glow. To avoid pests in the succulents, remove dying or rotting leaves or flowers from the plant. Hydrate with clean water. Maintain temperature between 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Most of the succulents do not like any frost. Thank you for watching and 